Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. We are still at Con Kane right now, on the edge of the Lyrian Commonwealth. Um, and we're going to jump right into a mission today. We talked about last time going Ready on a Come ambush on. convoy mission. Um, it's a repossession here. Um, a local government convoy was ambushed and looted for expensive industrial materials. And the perpetrators, Sir Kinnis Federation, are moving the stolen goods to a secure location. We'd like you to strike the convoy and destroy it. Our salvage teams will then retrieve our goods from the wreckage. So, I mean, we are going against the Kinnis Federation, but we're being paid. It's a Martian environment, so we're going to have to watch out on heat. But I think we're well suited to do this mission. So we're going to negotiate, and we're going to go for full salvage. Um, we're doing well right now. We've got enough funds to be able to cover to the end of the month. So we don't have to worry about that. And 133 in cash is probably going to be enough to cover our drop costs of uh, about 70000 And then anything that we're going to be... Uh oh, we're going to need a pilot. That's right. So we're going to bring in... Um Let's see, let's bring in Payroll. Payroll's been itching to get into battle. So let's get let's bring her in. She's the noble we picked up a long time back. So we'll bring her in and then um, yeah, so we're gonna go for it. Um, the blackjack I don't think is quite suited for this mission, but maybe we find a heavy mech that we can overheat and uh, get her some good work here. Alright, here we go. Four mechs down. All right, so we know this mission pretty well. Do it by the numbers. So we got to move forward and engage the convoy here. They're probably back over here right now, uh, and this is where they're headed. So we're going to move this way and cut them off in here. I like using this big ridge as a defense against vehicles. Usually any mechs or stuff will come up this way, but using this big hill as, as a defense against the vehicles allows you to fight whoever you want here and then attack the vehicles. Um, in this case, I don't think we're going to do that unless the vehicles are really heavy. But um, right now, there's no real need to reserve back to turn one. Yep. Um, we're going to just move right in. Copy that. Because the vehicles are going to be moving anyway, and we're all moving at the same time, so I don't have to worry about that. So we're going to head along this direction. Hopefully, anything that comes into our sight range um, won't be able to shoot at us right away. I come. So we're going to get ourselves down along here. All right, frontliner. Going full throttle. I want to head forward and just sort of head off where the uh, convoy's going. Yes, commander. If we get ourselves in a good enough position, we should be able to fire on, on one way. vehicle at Don't a time mind. and not have to worry about return fire. There's a nice place like right in here, where if you set up, the vehicles come by one at a time. You kind of can kind of just shuffle yourself so that only one vehicle at a time can see you. Okay, so the fact that we actually haven't seen anybody yet leads me to believe they yeah. probably have mostly heavy and maybe a few medium mechs. Roger. Gonna move and cut these guys off. I can hear the vehicles moving. Receiving you. Okay, vein skater. Don't quite have the you speed as the uh, hunchback. Or the uh, blackjack, that is. Okay, flatliner. I'm, I'm saving those peep moving the PPCs till last. Confirmed. Just in case we spot something, I can get some good hard pinpoint damage out fast. And not spotting anything. Commander. Okay. So this is going to be a tough fight, I think. We're going to be facing them all at once. So if we can move quick enough and get into the front of the convoy. There's our first Reporting mech contact. contact. Two. Okay, so we've got two medium mechs. Alright. That means there's probably a lot of medium vehicles too. So, let's move payroll up. She's our reconnaissance right now. We're going to move up into here, see if we can spot any vehicles moving. Looks like it. There's our first blip. So we need to move into position to be able to handle it right away. I don't want anything slipping by our grasp here. So let's get Vane Skater with the direct fire weapons moving next. Gonna put him up on the hill here. Consider me there. Oh, just reserve there. Ah, it's really hoping for their vehicles to move. Waiting for orders. Okay, flatliner. I am the wind. You are the wind. There's our first vehicle. 
It's a small one. Hopefully he moves first, comes into range. Nope. So it's another medium mech, you think? What's up, boss? One of them is light. I think the vehicle is probably a light vehicle. Which means we should be able to easily kill this convoy. Relatively fast, I'm hoping. So here comes the medium mechs. I was really hoping for heavy mech, but I guess not. They're moving really slow. Probably walking in for and um, bracing. So there's our first vehicle. Um, first things first, I think I want to get to a point where I can shoot this guy. So let's move into here. Like I said, we're in a good kill zone here. They got to come by us. So it's a mobile HQ. Uh, no real armor. Just going to fire one PPC. That should be enough. Alright, one down. Reporting vehicle destroyed. Gotta really manage our heat here. Because by the time we engage these mechs, we're gonna need to be really heat neutral. Yeah. So let's get payroll up here. I wanna be able to see what that is. We're gonna move into the whirlwind just to protect ourselves a little bit, and I think this guy's out of range for pretty much everything except for yeah, the narc and the tag. But we're gonna fire those. Nope. Targeting the wrong vehicle, man. Gonna kill this light LRM carrier Negative next. Damage. So yeah, almost no armor. Another one. So we have lots of evasion and being in the whirlwind here, we're gonna re really reduce any damage we take. So this is like another light LRM carrier. Yeah. So two of them. And then I have no idea what that is. But let's move flatliner Order. forward. I'm your spaniel. So let's take a gamble and we're going to AB these guys we're going to go this route and see if we can kill them both Firing on come on Bubba you know you can do it nope not quite nice to see both lasers sitting though nope well it was splash damage not much I can do about that okay so let's get our hunchback down here and we still can't see anything. Oh, we can from where we are. Nice. They're in a nice big kill zone here. So we're going to fire the Gauss rifle. Uh, I'm not sure what you're shooting at, but it definitely wasn't the vehicle. Negative damage. The wind must have took it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Hunchback 1G. That's the Gauss rifle version. Nope. Heavy and medium. Rifles. Two misses. Is that another hunchback? It was. Oh, it's a blackjack. G. Two AC-10 ultras. So this guy's got to go down with reduced armor, too. I'm kind of shocked that this is such a low... A low-strength um, lance here. Done. So we're just going to step forward. I'm going. Once again, we're going to split our fire. We should be able to kill them both now. A, B, same thing. B's to the more distant one. Confirmed. There we go. So that was a little overkill, and there goes that piece of the vehicle. It must be really light, like, gravity here, because look at that thing fly. Look at it. It's insane. Two vehicles. There, are, there goes the other one. Look at it. Reporting vehicle there must be, like, no gravity on this planet. And that one went farther than the first one. Ow. What was that? Enforcer, probably. Distance holding. I have no idea what that is. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Move forward. Out. And what's this guy here? Where's on two turn two? Rommel with a goss. Okay. Let's unload everything on him. Wow, that's blinding. That's a lot of flamers. Takes a little bit of damage. We might be able to finish up with with uh Bane Skater. Damn you and your rifles. I'm showing minor damage. 45 is not minor damage. Your idea and my idea of minor damage is really different, buddy. 59. 65. So let's move up here. Let's see what this baby can do. Okay, so we're gonna fire. Can we multi-target? We can. 
So we're going to fire the Gauss here and our pulses on this guy. On it. Oh, come on. What is it with Gauss rifles? I just have such bad luck with them, they almost never hit. Okay. You're really having fun with me, man. Gotta say. I gotta walk, too. That's kind of sucky. Uh, so, we did a tiny bit of damage on the front of this guy on the side. Two PPC hits, if we get him in the same spot, should take care of the problem. Um, but what's the chance of that? I don't know. So, we're gonna walk forward, uh, only because I want to regain some stability and I still need to fire. So, we're gonna fire both PPCs on this guy. Firing on target. No, two different locations, but at least he's partially scrambled with the PPCs. Okay, missed with the Goss. Some light damage with the machine guns. Okay, we're doing okay. So our Blackjack, um, I think he's okay for now. We really have to start dealing with these guys. So we've got an Enforcer over here. AC-10, large laser. A little bit of heat. This guy doesn't have any heat on him. He's the guy we really got to kill. And the Hunchback, it's got really low armor right now. So let's move Bainskater first. I'm going to sprint, and we're going to move to a position where we can shoot on um, the Blackjack. We've got him from the side here, so let's move there. And we're going to target the side of the Blackjack with everything we possibly can. So let's turn off this pulse when we can fire with everything else. Hoping for an arm hit, the pulse laser, or the uh, Goss misses again. Oh! Okay, nice, I'll take that. I'll take it. He's gonna move next. Try and st stabilize himself. If he fires, we're gonna capitalize, and he did fire. Okay, so we're gonna capitalize, I think, I'm here. with Flatliner. So it's one or the other. Mm. Move to here. Rolling. We're going to unload on him, leave the small off. We're going to fire everything. We want to try and take this guy down as fast no. as possible. So we're not going to get very good salvage out of this, unfortunately. Unless we can work on that Enforcer. Critical hit. I think maybe the Hunchback is the guy we want to try and maximize our salvage from. Um, so I think we've got a few extra Hunchback pieces lying around. I don't think we have any Enforcer pieces yet. Okay, so we're going to walk over with Ground Zero into the Whirlwind here, and we're going to fire on that vehicle again. Can we shoot both? No, we can't. We just shoot one. Maybe we get lucky and kill him? No. Okay, but Payroll's going to have to come follow up and kill this guy, I think, and then we'll worry about that Hunchback. That Hunchback does not like me. It's okay. We can shut this guy down this turn. So, on his left side, he's down a bunch. So, payroll's going to come around to the left. Um, we need better sprint. We're going to turn this way. Confirmed. Because the vehicle will be moving along here. We want it wanted to be hit on the front. So, we're going to unload as much as we can. Let's leave the narc off. Fire I everything else. We really want this vehicle gone. Don't think we did it. We did. Time Excellent. Excellent. Okay, now we can focus on them. So, payroll is pretty much overheated. Okay, so the enforcer is out of the question right now. Or out of the equation, that is. So, because he's missed. So we're going to move forward, I think, with uh, Vein Skater. And I think we're going to target the Blackjack. G. Now, how much does he have in the center? One. So he's pretty much done. So I'm not worried about that guy right now. So we're going to multi-target then. We're going to shoot... Let's leave the Hunchback. We're going to try and kill the Enforcer. Uh, and then one to B here. So we're going to shoot a uh, Pulse Laser to B and everything else to the Enforcer. So we'll probably kill the uh, Blackjack here. He says and then doesn't kill him. Oh! He ejected. Even better. Thank you. Thank you for helping my salvage. I thought for sure I was going to destroy him. 
Boy, that guy has a hate on for me. He's got a hate on. Alright, so we're going to walk back. On my way. And since we don't want to engage the Hunchback yet, I'm going to use an offensive push on the Enforcer to push him back a turn um, for next time. And we're going to unload all our missiles on him. We're going to try for a headshot here. Wow. That's some punishment. Head hit. Pilot injured. The Cobra strike. No knockdown, but we'll hopefully get a knockdown now. Commander. So I'm going to sprint, and we're going to come up here. That's out of the radiation, right? No, that's in the radiation. We don't want to be in the radiation. Do not want the extra 10 heat. It's just too much. I'm thinking maybe it's time to get a heat bank. I know I've been avoiding it in the stores and stuff, but... Okay, we're going to fire two on him. That should knock him down. And that'll maximize our salvage, because he'll be unconscious now. Boom. Game over. Oh, crap. Really? <sighs> sure. Yep. Alright, payroll. Let's do this. So, we're gonna move forward, and... Got it. No, shooting, just running. no, no, we're shooting. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. So, this is an easy way to, uh... get basically first initiative. So, you do an offensive push on this guy. Right? with just the tag and the narc and we'll get our pretty much all of our heat back so we're gonna fire on him go for a headshot maybe we get lucky they both miss I don't care because now he's gonna be going after all of my guys you did miss but that's alright we knew yeah. that was gonna happen so let's get you up as close as possible don't think that hunchback is actually in melee range now I think this blocks him from walking over so we're gonna just Turn everything back on and fire away. So I don't know if we hit with the... Uh, no, we didn't. Oh, nice. Pilot head hit. I was hoping we hit with the... Um, Commander? The uh, narc beacon, but we didn't. So... Let's move to... What do we got here for a chance to hit? Uh, that's respectable. Um... Let's try something a little different here. Um, Vane Skater, let's walk over here. Moving out. And I want you to just fire the Gauss Rifle. Offensive push. We're going to try for a leg shot here. 24%, eh? Well, let's just try it. It's not like I'm disappointed because he's been missing with the Gauss Rifle continuously this battle, so like... Why am I worried? I don't know. Anyway, uh, okay, so same thing. We're moving to the side. Uh, and we're just going to unload on this side with the missiles. So medium and heavy rifle have both taken crits now. He's stressed. Yes, Commander. Let's move forward and stay out of the rough. Understood. Moving fast. And I think he's probably going to shoot at me anyway. But we're going to fire one PPC, and we're going to do a call shot, I think, to the leg here. See if we can get a leg shot on him. 46% chance to hit. Nope. It's tough trying to get maximum... So he's panicking now, though. It's tough to get maximum salvage from mechs that have very low armor to start. Um, like, this guy had half of his armor to start, right? So it's not like... Okay. So it's not like we actually have a good chance to salvage this guy, but um, we're just going to try our best here. What do you need? So we're just going to walk it over. Let's Moving shut this guy down. Can't fire everything. Let's leave the narc off. And how many flamers? Turn this one off first. Oh, there we go. He is overheating, so he's going to take a lot of damage here. Right arm, right arm, right leg, right torso. Shut down. He paled out. Done. Maximize and salvage. So that was good. I'm glad that he bailed out. Uh, okay. I thought there. I thought he crashed there for a second. Excellent. Mission. I've had a couple of instances where it just locks up and then it just freezes on whatever screen I'm on, and I got to power out. All right. Let's see what we get. So I'm hoping we pick up some hunchback parts. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Really hoping for a heavy mech there. But three mediums, not bad. A lot of blackjack parts. One enforcer and a lot of hunchback parts. Okay. 
AC 10 with plus 5 damage. Eh. Goss Rifle, plus 10 damage. That's nice. We can take that. Um, bonus Accuracy Medium Lasers. I think there should be some engines down here. Yeah. One. Oh, and a Gyro XL. And double heat sink. So let's lose that and grab a double heat sink. Endo steel structure we got still. So let's go this route. Let's confirm this. So we got one, two, three blackjack G parts. Reduced recoil. So this is a this is the 55 tonner, and then an enforcer part. We didn't get any hunchback parts unfortunately, but we got the AC10. Uh, oh, we got both double heat sinks. Nice, excellent. And caseless ammo. Eh. All right. Let's see what's going on here at the end of the month. Um, Sir Kinnis Federation joins the war. Magistry Canopus joins the war. Starina versus Merrick. Uh, I thought Sir Kinnis was already in the war. Maybe they declared peace. Draconis Combine. Steiner versus Merrick. Why is the Draconis Combine involved? Free Worlds League and Oberon Confederation. They're going to war against who? Join the war against... Oh, they're, they're one of the attackers, but attacking, I guess, Free Worlds League and Oberon? I don't understand this. Restoration versus Deviant. Okay. Sure. 16,000 repairs. It's actually more than last time. Okay. Still operating on a very low... Uh, monthly report. We got enough for next month now. Um, but before we go today, what we're going to do is have a look at uh, refitting our. Uh, let's go to our base here. We're going to refit our hunchback with that new weapon. Um, hunchback refit. I mean, the other option too is we could go with the AC10 instead, plus five damage. Um, because this Gauss Rifle is having a really hard chance of hitting here. Um, it doesn't say there's any... any different chance to hit. Maybe it's because it's torso mounted that we're having a problem? I don't know. I mean, if we go with the plus 5 damage AC-12, this is 12 tons. Or AC-10, sorry. This is 15 tons. And we still need... It would be the same amount of ammo, so we would save 3 tons. Which we could probably drop 3 heat sinks in. But we're lowering our damage. Well, not wouldn't even need three heat sinks because this is just only a little bit more heat. But um, let's first just do this. Take that out, and let's get find our new uh, Gauss rifle here with the plus ten damage, and we'll drop that in. Um, and we'll see how it goes. I'm not really sure if that's going to be the final inc incarnation of this guy. I know the AC10 Ultra would kind of be nice. It's a clan one with 10 tons, but we need to carry lots of ammo. Um, 24 heat, that's the other thing too, right? So if we pull, let's just think about it for a second here. So we'll need, with this guy being an ultra, we'll need three tons of ammo to get 12 turns of firing continuously. So that's 13 tons in total. The Gauss rifle is 15 plus two is 17, so it's four tons left over which we could probably squeeze heat sinks into if we have the room. We have two double heat sinks now too, but that doesn't make a difference because we don't have the room. Um, we could pull the pharaoh out to make room. So, but it would be 24 heat. Maybe I pull out a clan pulse laser and just replace it with a regular medium laser. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. Let's pull out the Gauss Rifle Plus. Let's pull this out. Let's pull the ammo out of here. Now, do we have enough AC-10 ammo? Let's drop the AC-10 Ultra Clan. we got two of these, so if we lose one, it's not a big deal, right? Ammo, AC-10. we got plenty. So, we'll put one, two. We can't use precision ammo, unfortunately, but three tons of ammo in. So, that leaves us with six tons left over. But we've only got three slots. So, this Pharaoh would have to go. Um, the back armor. We still have like no back armor on this guy. So, um, 
but already we're still about the same amount of damage. But with 2 times 60, it's a little better chance to hit. Um, this is considered ballistic weapon. I know it's a magnetic cannon, but um, so it does get affected by the ballistic targeting system. So I'm not sure why we're having such a problem with it. Um, now, I think we're going to stay with what we have. We're going to go back to our Gauss Rifle setup. Uh, we're going to put the Gauss Rifle Plus in, put the heatsink back in the leg, put our Gauss ammo back in, Ferro Fibers back in, Clan Pulse Laser back in. There we go. We're going to leave it like that. We're, so we're just basically switching out the Gauss Rifle. So let's confirm that. We'll try that. I, I like the idea of 80 pinpoint damage. Now I know we're getting that on the uh, on the Vindicator, but um, yeah, I think I think I like the idea of having that on the uh, on the Hunchback as well. So let's just heal up here. Two more days. There we go. And we're going to finish up the es episode right here. Uh, if you liked it, please feel free to leave a like and. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it there, and next time let's find something more interesting to do. Maybe we can take a three skull mission, uh, if we can find the right one. Um, and hopefully we can find some more heavy mech parts. But until then, I'll see you later.